Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back. If you are new here, hello, my name is Adele. I post a couple of videos a week and I would love for you to join the YouTube family. So please click subscribe and go and check out my podcast. It's called Your Safe Space. Go and follow me on TikTok. It's at Adele Marie. Follow my Instagram, also at Adele Marie and just become part of my community. If you are already subbed and you have been here since the beginning, you're a real one and I love you and thank you so much for coming back. Today, I've gone rogue. I didn't even ask you guys what video you wanted and I'm just giving you what I really wanna do. <laughs> I will ask you for the next Sunday video, okay? But the new format of the YouTube channel is that we drop the vlogs now on the Monday night and on Sunday night, I'll still give you a video because I fully understand the Sunday scaries. Don't worry, I've got you. I'm not going anywhere. So we Sunday, Monday uploads. It's going good so far and I'm pretty happy with it. So I hope you guys are too. Now today we are doing a full face of makeup or a get ready with me routine using only products from Chemist Warehouse. Now this is not sponsored by Chemist Warehouse. I just went and bought all this stuff yesterday and I've got the receipt to prove it. I just wanted to do an affordable makeup haul, an affordable makeup get ready with me because every single time I do a makeup video or a skincare video, I'm even hyper aware that aside from a couple of products. Everything is from like Mecca or Sephora, which I know is really expensive. And I know I have lots of different people following me and lots of different people in the community who may be at different budgets or different stages of their life. And I just wanna show you that you can still achieve really nice makeup using products that are more affordable. Now, this is either gonna be really amazing or it's gonna be really bad because I didn't swatch anything. I just picked the things that I thought would suit me. So we're going in blind. And I'm excited. Now, here's the receipt. Where's my little calculations? Because I did calculate everything. I spent $91.76 receipt here. I actually ended up spending $177, which you can see there, because I bought a <laughs> packet of Polydent Retainer Cleaners, some skincare from there, and yeah, two skincare items, which were quite expensive. So they are not being included in this video. They're just products that I'm going to try and I will tell you about them soon. Now I'm going to try and emulate the exact same routine that I usually would and I typically would start with my brows. Now I will also let you know I have left my skincare the exact same. I didn't really want to fuck with that on a video like this because I don't want to give myself a reaction especially if I can't trial anything. I'm literally trying everything for the first time right now. I also need a mirror that I can hold. I'm not using this bronzer, I'm simply using it just to see what I'm doing. So the brow pencil that I picked up is the Rimmel one. It is the brow this way. And I got the shade Brunette because I figured that looks like my shade. Do you guys reckon? We're about to find out. <laughs> okay. It is a Thursday morning at the time of filming this and you guys will watch this on Sunday. So I hope you've had a good weekend. I hope you've been having fun or having a low key one. This weekend, I've got my one of my besties 30ths, which I'm so excited about. I'll go and buy her present after this. And then I've also got, what else do I have on? Do I have anything else on? No, I think that's it. Oh, obviously the Carlton and Lions game. And oh, this will either age really well or really badly, but I really hope they win. If not, I will be crying myself to sleep on Saturday night. Brows are looking good. I will tag everything in the notes and I will even put a little title on the screen as well so if you want to take a screenshot I actually think I color match this perfectly because I don't really fill my brows in too much if anything I think it's it might be throwing a little bit of red but I'm pretty happy with that I'm gonna give this one a tick I would use it again I then tend to carve out my brows with some concealer the concealer that I picked up is the Maybelline eraser concealer and I got the shade I think sand now I will still use all of my own brushes because I didn't buy brushes from Chemist Warehouse yesterday. I thought that would be a bit wasteful considering I've got a whole collection of them here. So I will go in with my usual brushes. These are a mix between, I'm gonna say like Morphe and where else, Zoeva. Oh no, I, I literally just spent 10 minutes unwrapping all the plastic seals and like the security tags and I missed this one. Are you for real? All right. Also, this one has a really cute little brush, but I'm not sure like, how do I? <laughs> what am I? Ah, I'm scared. I'm really, really scared. Sorry, I've never used this. Okay, nothing is happening. Here we go. Can you see it? Finally. All right, 
Oh God, this looks very dark. I told you I did not color match myself. I didn't have time for that. I was like, I'm just gonna go in and out, in and out. Actually, look at this. I think it's good. We're on a journey together today, everybody. Is it good? Is it good? Yeah, I reckon it is. Oh, all right. I'm actually quite happy with that. I don't know if it's brave of me to... Oh, that brush feels good on my skin. Okay, consistency is a vibe. Coverage, I'm gonna say it's like medium. Definitely not full coverage. You probably need to put a little bit extra if you want full coverage, but as for color match, this is pretty close to my other concealer. And as for consistency, I'd say it's probably a little less full coverage because the Tarte one that I use is pretty full coverage. But it feels very buttery and like smooth on my skin. I've got a little pimple coming along there, so I'll just also pop that on top. I should have popped that. No. <laughs> yes, I should have. Okay. I think I'm, I think I'm happy with this. Nice work. Next, I would go in with foundation, and the one that I picked up is the Emco Beauty Flawless Glow. Now, I will say, this was the most expensive item out of everything that I bought, but I guess you're getting, what, 30 mils of foundation, and apparently this is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. I wouldn't know because I don't have the Charlotte Tilbury. What color did I get? Natural medium. Oh no, look. Oh, oh, oh okay. I'm scared. All right, stay calm. Stay calm, it's gonna be all right. Definitely giving tanned, but you know what? I am tanned after being overseas. All right, <laughs> going in with my usual foundation brush. Let's see if I can blend this out and how it comes out. I probably could have gone shade four. I think this is shade five. So learn from my mistakes. In saying that though, it is applying quite beautifully, blending out into my skin really nicely. And it definitely does have a glowy kind of finish. I know this is kind of cheating, but I do put my foundation like right up against my brows like this. It's the same brush that I used on my underneath of my brows. All right, a little goes a long way. I didn't fully dip it, but you saw how much I put on. Am I looking orange on the camera? I am. It's all right, stay with me. We're gonna be all right. I think I'm quite happy with this. I have blended it out for a little longer than what I would blend my original foundation, but so far, it's okay. If anything, what I would probably do next time is get a shade lighter. So it's number five. I would probably get number four, as I said. And that's the Flawless Glow from Emco Beauty. I really tried to pick a whole range of products because I just didn't want everything to be Emco Beauty. Now, we are going to do our concealer, which I would also do at this point in my makeup routine. So I'm going to use the same one as before. And I'm going to go under here. Oh, that's a lot. Interesting. I don't know if I love the applicator. It feels good on my skin, but I'm like, it'll probably get really dirty because it would pick up my foundation. And I'm gonna put some there on my little pimple and maybe there. I'm gonna also put some there and there. I did buy a beauty blender, but I'm just not sure if I wanna use it because I don't really love them, but maybe later if we need to blend stuff out. I just would use my finger. I really, really like that concealer. It's coming up quite beautifully. And I actually think I picked the right shade for the foundation because it's lighter than the foundation, thankfully. <laughs> it's the following steps that I'm a little bit worried about. Okay, I am using the Beauty Blender because I'm gonna go in with cream bronzer. I couldn't find a cream blush. I could only find a powder blush. So I would at this point usually put on a bit of a cream blush, but that's okay. I'm gonna slightly alter the routine to still give you a nice makeup look. The cream bronzer that I'm using is the Emco Beauty one. It is light medium, instant contour. Another one. <laughs> Do you just squeeze it? Is that how? Oh, what am I doing? Or is that a twisty one too? Guys, I did buy a powder bronzer in case. Hello? I should add, I got this in the Chemist Warehouse showcase box. So I didn't buy this one yesterday. I already had it here. I'm an idiot. There's like a off on. That's pretty good. Oh. Okay, oh, I'm scared, I'm scared. As for life updates, I have been back in the Melbourne podcast studio this week. I'm just gonna try like a dot situation. I've so far recorded episode one and two of the new season. Should I tell you guys when it launches? I think I'll tell you guys, keep a secret. It launches on the 1st of October. So not too long. There are old episodes if you wanna go and watch them. I would usually bronze my nose. So I'm gonna, oh my God. And I'd usually do there and do there. Okay, I'm looking a little bit insane. Stick with me. We're gonna blend it out with the Beauty Blender. 
That's blending really nicely. It probably helps that I'm using their foundation. Oh, I forgot I would usually put some there as well. And always the hairline. Okay, not bad. I think I'm kind of happy with that. My next step is to set like my under eyes and under here, under that bronzer. So I've grabbed a clean powder puff. These are from Amazon. I've got them in my Amazon storefront and I'm using the Invisible Matte Long Lasting Press Powder. So it's translucent and I just did this because I use a translucent loose powder, but I couldn't find a translucent loose powder in Chemist Warehouse yesterday. So yeah, let's see, just gonna really puff it up and just very lightly under my eyes and up there. I'll also just do, it's kind of throwing white, which is a little concerning. I will say so far I've loved all the products. I I would give them all ticks aside from this one. This is the first one I'm having a bit of a panic with. Okay, stay calm, stay calm. It's gonna be fine. All right, okay. <laughs> I look like a clown. I would usually do this as well with my normal routine, but I've grabbed a fluffy brush and I'm just trying to blend it all out to try and save my face. Maybe I put a bit too much, that's probably my fault. I'm gonna then go in with the Flower Powder Blush, which is the shade Peach Primrose. And I really like this brand. It is Drew Barrymore's brand, I'm pretty sure. I saw it at the Chemist Warehouse Showcase last year. So we're gonna pop that on. I usually smile when I do my blush and then I just take it up. Oh, this is a really nice color. I feel like it kind of matches my skin tone. I'm giving this one a tick as well, some there, and I do a little bit on my forehead as well, just to, you know, keep that European glow. It feels like I kind of never really went now. We've been back for what, three weeks? When you watch this on Sunday, it'll be three weeks since I've been home, which is just insane to me because it's like, did I even go? But I still feel quite refreshed, so that's probably not fully true. I'm happy with that. Our next product is Shimmer or Highlight, whatever you want to call it, and it is the Highlight and Glow Beauty Wand from Emco. Now I know it's got a twist, so we can do it like that. I'm just gonna blend this with my finger, I think. Oh, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Why does that look pink? Because <gasps> it's pink glow. I thought it was, oh, it's okay, I've got a high, you know what, I'm gonna use this on my cheek. I'm gonna use this as like a blush, like right there, 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 there. All right, okay. Sam is texting me, thank you. Sam is back guys, I'm so happy I missed her. So we're gonna just work really quickly. I probably shouldn't have stopped to text, but, oh, this is nice, layered with the other one. And you know what, it gives me a glow, which I love. What other updates can I give you? Franklin's doing really well. I'm also like very open to dating and you know, possibly finding someone. I will say that living at home, I think has subconsciously maybe restricted me because it's not like I would bring a guy back here. I don't know about you guys, but if you live at home, like are you bringing guys back to your houses? I don't like, mm, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm loving this makeup. I'm looking at myself, I'm like, fuck, I'm doing a good job. Okay, so the next, little palette I got is from, again, Flower, and it's a shimmer and strobe. So there is actually highlighter in there. That's the whole reason that I bought it. It comes with a really cute little brush. So which shade should we go for? Maybe this one. Oh, oh, that looks very pigmented. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> okay, I'm really happy with everything aside from that pressed powder. I would vouch for everything. I usually put it here on the edge of my nose and there. So pop it just in the inner corner. I give YouTuber 2016, I know. Don't come for me. Let me live. This stage is the only other thing that I could not find a dupe for, but it is my setting spray. So I'm just gonna use my original one. I think this might actually help the powder set and look a little bit better as well. So. Everyone's favorite part when I curl my eyelashes. <laughs> I'll cover it. But I've got two mascaras to choose from. Looking forward to them both. But I got these again at the Chemist Warehouse Showcase and I just wanna check the brushes. Is that a hard plastic? Okay, the first one is the Maybelline New York Lash Sensational Sky High. It's in a pink container. It's got a hard plastic brush. Very, very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury one that I use right now. 
So I'm actually leaning towards that one. The other one I've got is the Maybelline Surreal Falsies, which I've heard good things about, but it's a fiber brush. So I'm actually not going to use that one right now. I'm going to stick to this one. Okay, pop off. Look at this. I love this brush and a very big fan of this mascara because it is really separating them and coating them evenly. No clumps. That's with it. And that's without. I'm, I'm really impressed. I have not used a drugstore or chemist mascara in years, but just as good as the ones from Mecca. Wow, 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 wow. I'm shocked. Jaw on the floor. Of course, we can't forget lip liner. And I've got the Maybelline New York Color Sensational Liner. It's shade number 10, Nude Whisper. It looks like a nude. <laughs> That's why I got it. I love a nude lip and I love my lip liner. I will say the lip liner I use, I think is affordable because it's from Morphe. And when I bought it, it was like $4, but that was half price. So what, it's probably $8. How much was this one? $8.49. So is it that much cheaper? I don't know, probably not. Don't hold me to that. Very buttery, almost like a perfect match. If anything, it might be too light. So it's like kind of low key washing me out just a little. Actually, no, I like it. I'm sticking with it. I freaking like it. Oh my God, I did good. I'm so impressed with myself. I also picked up a gloss because you guys know I love my gloss. So it is a Maybelline one. It's called Lifter Gloss. And what is the shade? Reef, Reef. That's cute. Reminds me of a holiday. Okay, this looks dark. I could use a lip oil. I've got a Emco lip oil, but I don't really want to wear a lip oil right now. No, it's cute. Uh, back to the dating very quickly. I'm not on dating apps or anything right now, but I'm not opposed to it. I could go back on Hinge. I think I really liked Hinge last time and I think it's probably my favorite dating app out there, but yeah, not just this second. Okay, my makeup is done and I'm really happy with how it came out. I don't know about you guys, but I don't think I look too different than how I usually look. And I mean, my technique and brushes stayed the same and my skincare stayed the same. So could it be those variables? I don't know, but I think I did not bad. And I spent almost what, $80 on like a full kit. And I know even going out and dropping $80 on all new makeup is not realistic as well. But I just wanted to show you that I could do this with those products at that price. Obviously some items like the lip liner, for example, are probably similar in price so do your research before you go and spend anything but let's pick out a fit and get ready for the day and then i'll wrap up this video i'm in different lighting now in my bedroom you can still see even if i bring you up close like it's blended it looks good the color matching probably slightly off but i kind of think i nailed it okay now it is not the warmest outside so what shall we wear I'm gonna pop on a pair of jeans, going for this stripy top. I'm gonna to fix up my hair now. I'm just gonna keep it straight, although I have realized that since I got the highlights in it, it actually looks nicer with like a wave. Not a full curl, but a wave. And I just, my hair's clean-ish. When did I wash it? Not last night, the night before. So I might curl it tomorrow. Yeah, I think I'll curl it tomorrow. I need to film another tutorial, another curly wavy hair tutorial because I've slightly changed it and I said I would do that in Mallorca <laughs> and it's been a hot minute. Now my hair is like kind of straight so technically I could have just left it but it's like kicking out in ways that I'm not super happy with. I didn't take questions for this video because I want to do like a food one next and you guys can submit questions on my Instagram story so if you're not following my Insta go and give me a follow. I love the new color of my hair though, because I just feel it's nice going into summer and well, going into spring. It definitely feels like spring. You'll see in the vlog this week, I get like my first hay fever, like oh, irritation and just like the daylight savings. Like it's not daylight savings yet, but it's definitely lighter. It was light at like 6.30 PM yesterday and I was like freeing on, I think it's what, October 3rd or October, is it October 1st? I think my hair is done. Now we need jewelry. I'm gonna be popping on my new Jazz Handmade earrings. Now, these are the Haley Hoops. Jazz actually gifted them to me during Europe and then I hadn't opened it until this week, but look at them. I love them. They're beautiful, just like everyday classic, 
really nice kind of vibe. I'll show you how they look on. It's really hard to put in earrings when you can't see what you're doing. I love them. I'm craving a bubble tea. Could my bubble tea era be coming back? My ring, I'm so sad. I'm pretty sure this is out of stock, but it's my favorite. We are ready. I'm not wrapping the video yet. I still want to show you in natural light. So I'm going to take you along. I popped on my Zara jacket and we're going to head out and then I'll wrap the video. Here I am in natural light. I'm sitting in my car facing the sun. It is a cloudy overcast day, but I honestly think it came out really nicely. And if I look at myself in the mirror, like I think I did a good job. The only thing I didn't do a good job of is blending here. So when I get home, I'm going to blend it out a little bit better, but I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to give myself a 10 out of 10. I'd love for you to rate me out of 10 what you think this look ends up being. The other thing I forgot to mention is I didn't set my brows because I couldn't find like a brow setter in the chemist yesterday, but I'm sure that there is plenty of dupes and other ones out there. And to be honest, some days I set my brows, some days I don't. So it wasn't like a deal breaker for me. And I'm pretty stoked with this. So there's my little tutorial. I hope that you guys liked it. If you did like this video, leave me a comment and let me know. If you have other dupes that you guys have that you think I would like, leave them in the comments. I'm always open to trying new things. I definitely don't need new makeup anytime soon because I've got enough. And out of everything I bought or everything that I had, the only thing that I would not buy again or would not recommend was that pressed powder. Everything else, I can't fault it. I really can't fault it. So <laughs> I'm happy and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great week ahead. I hope that something nice happens to you. I hope that you have something nice planned for yourself. I hope that you do some self-care, spend time with friends, spend time alone, maybe go on a date, maybe take yourself on a date. I don't know. The world is your oyster. The options are endless. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow in the vlog. Bye.